Good morning, folks. Not looking forward to this. <laughs> My uh, four-wheel drive cable came, and this is what it looks like. It's got a little push-button pull thing that runs this rod in and out of this piece. That piece bolts onto the back of the axle, and this stuff here, it's, um, probably can't see it in that bag. This stuff here, mounting hardware and whatever, gasket, this I threw in there to uh, seal this a little better. But uh, the hardest part of this, I have to drill a hole through the firewall. And that cable has got to be in the right spot where that cable isn't going to reach. The, the driver's side is on this side. Uh, the little thingy on the front differential is on that side. So the cable has to come down and around like that. And if it's not long enough... I have the hole in the wrong spot. If it's not long enough, it's not going to work. So, looking on the computer here, this thing came with no instructions. Which, surprise, surprise, huh? Nothing seems to come with instructions anymore. But I looked on the computer, and there's one that looks exactly like this. But it is offered by a different company. And it has instructions on the computer. <laughs> but... My computer, I have a printer, and the, the ink is empty. So I can't print that off. And, fun. You know, I gotta kind of read this and then come out here and try to wing it and make it work. So, probably be a lot of cussing here. I'll, I'll trim that out, I promise. But it's not going to be fun. The other thing is it's 25 degrees out here. My fingers are already frozen. This is not going to be a lot of fun. So you get this collection of parts and pieces and uh, like I said, no no instructions. Why? Is it really that hard to print out a piece of paper and throw it in the package before they seal it up? Okay, so says it's for a Dodge. Uh, 4x4 Posi lock, lock is the name of that company. Mine is not. Anyway, you read down through here and um, here's the collection of parts. They're the same as mine. And you read down through here and you come to the bottom. There's this thing. And you have to make that up. It's not... <laughs> It's not to scale on my computer. I had to uh, measure things and whatever. And anyway, this is what you come up with. You're supposed to fold it up that dotted line. And you make this little dealy whacker. And uh, go back up here. This picture, that is the top of the gas pump pedal. The throttle cable that's up here. So you're supposed to hook this little doodad on top of the throttle cable. This folded edge goes against the frame. And then wherever this little, it's hard to see, that little circle with the cross in it, that's where you drill your hole, supposedly. And there, here it is with the, with the little paper thing in place. So the instructions on the computer are, are fairly clear. Then you just run your cable down through and uh, get down to this thing. And then you got to take that apart. But we'll get to that here in a minute. Uh, you're supposed to take this screw out, drill it out, and put the bracket for the, for the cable in there. Which I'd like it on the dash. It's going to be a little hard to reach there. But I think I'm stuck with it being there. Because of all the other stuff in the way. And anyhow. It's, the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. you got to take this little fork out. And switch it over to the new housing. And uh, 
go from there. But none of this looks all that complicated. But why is it <laughs> it doesn't come with the instructions? If I wasn't able to find this on the computer, I'd just have to guess at it and it probably wouldn't work. You know, it, and it's frustrating. The, everything we get like that anymore. I mean, doesn't matter what it is, nothing really comes with instructions. And if they do come with instructions, they're in Chinese or Spanish or any language other than English. You can't figure it out anyway. Most of the time the pictures don't match up to what the parts look like. And well, I don't know. I guess I'm complaining here, but it it's just kind of... It's become normal, and it, this shouldn't be this way. It shouldn't be normal. Anyhow, let's go drill a hole and see what happens. You know, at very least, if you have to have this little cardboard thingy to get the hole in the right spot, why isn't there one in the package? I don't know. It's just, just the way things are anymore, I guess. Well, that's the paper thing right there. And the gas pedal lever. It's pretty darn close to that gas pedal lever, but I guess there's enough room there. So, I will drill a hole and <laughs> hope I don't hit anything important. Okay, so the instructions said if I drilled too far to the passenger side, I'd hit that support. Well, oops. That little wire right there, I don't know, right, there's my finger, right there. I poke that through a test hole. I can come quite a ways more toward the passenger side. I hit that thing on the driver's side. So, try this again. In one part of the instructions it says to drill a 5 8 inch hole. Then it says it needs to be 11 sixteenths in another spot. Well, it does, because this is bigger than 5 eighths. This grommet, you're supposed to cut that and then put it in the hole over this cable once you're done. Um, <laughs> I don't have an 11 sixteenths. I have a 3 quarter, which is going to be too big for the grommet. <sighs> 5 eighths would work but this won't fit through it just my luck huh next they want you to take out that screw right there and drill it out and mount that here that sure seems awful low I wish I could put it up higher on the dash but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I guess I'll do it the way they say first, and maybe this summer when things are a little bit warmer, I'll try to change it if it is a problem. Routing the cable turned out to be a little more difficult than I thought it would be, because it's kind of long. Oh, had to go up and around and over and down, and you got to try not to have any big bends in it. But anyway, I don't know that I like it that low. I mean, it it looks worse on the camera than what it really is. You can reach it reasonably easy. But, um, yeah, I'd much rather it was up here on the dash someplace. I might be able to do that. There's enough cable there that I can probably change that later. But for now, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so this thing... It's a thingy that's not working. This is the new cable. So I have to take this cover off and put on a different one. Shouldn't be too bad, I hope. But uh, just four bolts. I gotta get these lines off of here and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, we're gaining.
Yeah, gonna lose it anyway. I thought maybe tipping it on its side a little bit would help, but I guess not. Okay. So, gotta take this guy out and put it into the new one. Comes with either a plug or it says to reuse that. Oh, look at that. That thing's been hit, it looks like. Probably why it's not working. That looks like it's been... I don't know if you can see that. Look how cockeyed that is. That's probably the part that's bad. Huh. The way this works... Pretty dark. I don't know if you can see or not. Inside of here, just got this little slip collar that slides back and forth. And uh, that's what pulls it in and out of four wheel drive. It's not lined up right now, it looks like. Anyway, when that is slid over, that's what locks the two axles together and makes your tires turn. So, that cable, well, all it does is just pulls the arm so this thing will move over. So this piece, being bent, I thought maybe that was the problem, but it is working. So, that's not it. It's got to be in the in the vacuum lines there somewhere. So, rather than trace those out, I'm going to the cable. There's too much to go wrong with this. Not sure how this comes apart for sure. Looks like it probably just held in with these clips. So it looks like that this vacuum deal is just pressed in there pretty tight. Just got it. There we go. That was a problem. I was afraid to force it is all. Okay, so we needed that. It says to check these little wear pads. They look pretty good to me. There's no um unevenness to them or anything. They look like probably they should. Without knowing for sure, I, I think they do. Okay, see this piece, that's the part that slides back and forth and that's what's on the end of that new cable. So it's the same, pretty much the same deal as before. The new one looks very close to the same. This part here, a little bit wider. Like I said, this one's threaded, where that one's not. Well, this time, this one will have the pressure switch on this side instead of on that side. The light switch, not pressure switch. almost seems wrong for that, but I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Goes in really tight. Well, I don't think that thread is right. That plug that came with it wouldn't go in there either though, so I don't know, maybe it's not Maybe the thread's not cut the way it should be. Uh, 
That doesn't seem the way it should be. I think maybe I'd better run into town. That might be metric. Run into town, see if they don't have a different fitting like this. Sometimes the smallest things mess you up. The plug that came with this would not fit in here. This little fitting here where the vent line comes off of, it would not fit in there either. Turns out it's a metric 10-1. Um, hardware store didn't have anything. Auto parts store didn't have anything. I went back and searched again and I finally found a metric 10-1 tap. Recut the threads and now it goes in. But because of this taking so long to get to that this point <laughs> it doesn't look like it but it's going to be dark here in about 15 minutes so I'm not going to get this put back together not tonight anyway see ya